Hi everybody, how's it going today? It's uh, June 11th today, we're just moving some uh, heifer calves from our big hutches into our heifer barn here. These calves are about two and a half, three months old. And, uh, Sam and Alexi down there, they just put straw in these pens so they're opening the gates back up so that the heifers can get back into the straw. We moved this pen in here a couple minutes ago. You can see that the calves are pretty excited and uh, bellering a little bit. So new environment for them. They always get uh, kind of excited when they make a move to a new pen or to a new barn because it's uh, this is all new for them. Uh, about once every uh, two to three weeks, we move a group of heifers to our uh, far off dry cow pen and then we move uh, 25 to 30 heifers at a time or so and then we'll we have to move them up in every pen leading up to that pen so from 45 to 46 44 to 45 43 to 44 you guys uh, get the idea so we uh, we move them uh, based on how many days pregnant they are and then once they get down to Pen 43, then we move them based on size because they're not bred yet at that point. And we'll move them uh, in, you know, the same thing in the, those straw pens. We move them uh, up a pen every time we move uh, 25 to 30 out. And then we'll move a group from the big hutches to the barn, and then from the small hutches to the big hutches. And we do that about every uh, two or three weeks, like I said. So they were, uh, they had moved them in the barn already here uh, la yesterday, uh, yesterday or two days ago. And now we're just moving them from the big hutches to the barn, then they'll clean the big hutches out. And then uh, maybe in a day or two, we'll move a group of calves that are weaned in our uh, small hutches into our big hutches in groups of four. So they're, they're working at that today. I can give you guys a little bit of an update on how our uh, corn planting is going. So we, last night, Yesterday afternoon, we finished uh, prepping all of the land that's uh, that was possible to be prepped for corn planting. Uh, Tyson, at uh, one of the guys that works for them, Scott, uh, he came over to help us with their uh, uh, four-wheel drive tractor with the Salford. And then Sam was uh, working with our 942 and our disc uh, most of the day. I, I finished up for him. He had a couple other things he needed to do in the afternoon here. So that's all ready and Tyson was planting last night or yesterday pretty much all afternoon I guess until last night. Uh, I think he got done about 300, 350 acres yesterday. Probably about that much left but we had a little bit of rain here last night. So we'll have to, wasn't much but we need the sun to come out to dry things off a little bit again before he can uh, get started. We'll see maybe this afternoon he can uh, start working on that again. There's a small chance of rain tonight again, and then a bigger chance of rain Sunday night, I believe, so we'd like to have it done before then. I think uh, they, they should be able to get that done. I did get some uh, drone footage of uh, Scott and Sam getting the field prepped, and Tyson gets going again here today. I'd like to get some uh, filming of that as well. But that, that's kind of where we're at, I guess. Uh, it's uh, later than we would have liked, but uh, we've definitely planted corn later before in the past.
sitting by the big hutches now. So these uh, empty hutches here, these are the calves that we just moved to the barn. So I'll, uh, I'll disassemble the gates, move the hutches out of the way, clean the straw, um, put the hutches back and the gates back. And then we've got three pens here of calves that were not moved yet to the barn or they're not, uh, they're not quite old enough yet. So I'll move those into clean hutches at the end there and then they'll clean these three as well and then uh, yeah, like I mentioned before then uh, in a day or two we'll move uh, the oldest calves that are weaned from milk out of our individual hutches and they'll go into these uh, big hutches and they'll be in here for about two to three weeks I guess it kind of depends on how many calves we're moving to the calf barn at, at that time so they're gonna work at that here uh, this morning and probably this afternoon. We'll uh, try to get some filming of that if I can. These calves here, these are the oldest ones in our hutches. They're, uh, this last one here, this is a 10, 9, 5, 3. She's the oldest one in the individual hutches. She's uh, about two and a half months old. And then uh, they get younger as we uh, go down the line here. So from yeah, two to two and a half months old, they'll go into the big hutches. They'll be there for a couple weeks. And then at about three months old, we go into our heifer barn. Next day here we got the uh, calves out of the individual hutches moved into these big ones here and we clean those uh, individual hutches out and then we can move another line of calves out of our calf barn into those hutches here we'll probably they they don't need to be moved yet so we'll probably do that in the next uh, yeah next week or so I suppose Tyson was also uh, able to get planting again here this afternoon he had to wait until about noon the the sun didn't really well the sun came out right away this morning but yesterday was pretty cloudy so it wasn't able to uh, continue yesterday and then uh sun was out this morning kind of dried things out by noon or so we started going i think uh 
There's a chance of rain tonight again at about uh, midnight it looks like and then a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. So hopefully he can uh, get everything done today. I think it's going to be pretty close. He's got uh, quite a bit left to do here but looks like it's going pretty good now. I'll uh, try to send the drone up here and get uh, another shot of that. I, I know a lot of you uh, like to see the equipment. Uh, I like to I like to watch it uh, work too every once in a while. My my grandpa Peter's always really loved to see all the big equipment here in the in Canada and in the U.S. Especially the John Deere equipment. He was a big John Deere fan. It's uh, it's always fun to watch that stuff work in the field. Uh, just kind of crazy to see how how big uh, all that equipment has gotten uh, over the years. It's, uh, they can get a lot done in a day, but. Uh, I think that'll probably be it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, as always if you have comments or questions uh, I'd love to answer them below and we'll uh, hopefully see you in the next video.